Well, I got a very interesting 3D printer to check out on Kickstarter, the Alcaman 3D printer. And if you think you have seen them all, well, guess again, this 3D printer, I think it's interesting. Five colors, additional five colors, and also RGB. So let's dive right in. Hey, Zach here, and welcome to this video. Yeah, I have been watching this 3D printer for several times, and I think like, <sighs> Am I going to really talk about this in a video? Am I going to react to this? And a company reached out to me and they said like, hey, we like your reaction videos. Would you take a look at our 3D printer and give your thoughts and ideas about this 3D printer? Well, between some, you know, brackets, cannot really change a lot about it because as far as I can see in the Kickstarter campaign progress, this 3D printer is going to be shipped somewhere in the summer of 2025. But still, I don't mind making videos about some cool 3D printers. So uh, let's uh, go to the Kickstarter campaign page and let's see where the Alcaman is all about. So no money has been exchanged for giving a better reaction or worse reaction. Maybe I'm going to bash the printer, I don't know. Let's uh, let's watch this. Okay, we see an FPV drone. Guy struggling, he, he's like, oh, what, what shall we do next? PPS Peak, ooh, that is interesting. Peak, can this printer print Peak as well? Uh, PA12 nylon with carbon fiber, so that's interesting. Of course he doesn't take Peak. Ooh, was that the printer? Ooh, I like the, is that, is that, is that the tablet on the, on, on the side? Is that an iPad? Okay. So at first glance, if I'm looking to this printer, yes, this is a Bumble Labs 3D printer. Yes, this is a Creality K1, K2, K whatever. This is what we have all seen before. How much is it a difference? Guys, there's RGB on there. Check this out. This this is an RGB light uh, on, the, on the series side. This is something you can expect to, to happen. You know, Bumble comes with a printer, then uh, other companies are going to make their spin of this kind of design. iPad touchscreen on the side, interesting. Oh, is that Orca Slicer? Nice. As long as they don't make their own slicer, I think Orca Slicer is good for this. Print. Oh, two sides RGB even. Haha, <laughs> I like it. Okay, the, these are stepper motors for the Core XY motion. Okay, what do we have here? Wait, what? Hot end up to 450 degrees C. Not three, not 300? That is quite a lot. Easily handles high performance filaments. Well, most of the consumer based 3D printers are nowadays up to 300, 350C. And this one, 450. That's crazy. Improved layer adhesion. Heated bed up to 130 degrees C. That's nice. What I have seen, an active heated chamber? Yeah, chamber temperature up to. 90 degrees Celsius effectively prevents warping and buckling. Well, we, we know what, what they are meaning. Hot end 450 degrees, bed 130 degrees. The chamber temperature up to 90 degrees. Is that an active chamber heater or is it because of the, the heated bed and the nozzle? High efficiency molding, flawless shaping of creations. Oh, I like that. If the side panels are doing that, that would be... Nah. I, I like this. This is like a desktop, but then for 3D printing. The uh, This is also RGB. A lot of RGB. Oh, I like it. RGB lights around the drone. Enjoy continuous excitement through the use of specialty filament. Yeah, okay. So excitement that you can use various kind of filament types. Not only printing PLA, but also PEG, ABS. I also saw nylon carbon fiber on the wall. Uh, I also saw Peak. I'm not really sure. Can this 3D printer print peak as well oh i love that screen it looks like an ipad but is it really a touch screen that size that's huge print volume is 300 times 300 times 300 so average size it's basically like the creality k2 pro auto height and tilt calibrations hands-free operation that's nice so i do see that the branding name has some rgb in it also this here i like that so yeah, they, they use a type of text that looks cool, but in this case, printing white materials and then using these uh, font. I'm not really fond about that. Use some edges around the letters so that they pop better. But uh, resonance, composition, and hot, hot end pressure adjustment. So input shaping and um, pressure advanced. As far as I have seen on the, the tablet, on the screen, it is running Clipper so that you have this input shaping and pressure advanced. Those kind of things are standard 
I think that the name... We have seen the MMU from Prusa. We have seen the AMS from Bamboo. We have the CFS from Creality. Various names that suggest that you can use multicolor, multi-material in your system, in the multicolor unit. They are doing this way differently. This is the... Uh, of Voo. Yeah, need vo, need vo, but voo. Almost sounds like voodoo. Maybe they are doing voodoo. Unlock five color printing. Yes. Similar or equal to the Prusa MMU system. Five colors, five different kind of filaments instead of four. So I hope that after the Kickstarter campaign ends and this is going to be an official 3D printer you can buy in retail shops and on their site, you will get five colors five filaments that you can put in this machine. Not only four afterwards. So cool. But then the other question comes, can you also use multiple of those VU boxes? Mm, we need to we need to check further. NFC system automatic automatically recognize the color and type of filaments. NFC, near field communication or chip. So that means those pools are with an RFID chip. Not at the hot end. No, in the filament box. Let's call it filament box. Or else I'm sitting, uh, I'm sitting here the rest of the evening to voo and <laughs> um, cool. So if if the company is watching this video, make sure to have it open source so that if other brands are hopping into the bandwagon of having RFID tags in the spools, that's also recognizing them as well. But I think they are working with the with Orca Slice or so. Possibly that would be nice. Yeah, two different kind of uh, colors. Yeah. Looks cool. I don't see the whole side panel lighting up. So I think what we have seen before, it's it's really, you know, visuals, but not the official printer. But I still want to see those RGB lights on the sides. That would look amazing. What else do we have? So a PI spring steel sheet for your coffee machine printing parts. Every print gets consistent result. That is what we want. But also take attention to it. You know, every, every print gets consistent result. It's all depending on the user your slicer, the filament that you are using, the temperature inside the machine, but also outside of the machine. So yeah, it would be nice and ideal to have every single time having prints being consistent, but that would be a very ideal world to live in. And since we are in a world where not everything is perfect, but could be very close to perfect, I think that they try to get it as consistent as possible. Hide not your colors, voo. Yeah, so this is a nice, uh, nice speaker. I did see something passing by about them. El Rachi, nice, nice with the LCD screen, the buttons, looks cool. Yeah, but basically, if you think about it, nowadays with having the possibility to print with multicolors, yeah, of course, you don't need to hide the colors. Create what can not be created, really. So that was the video about the El Rachi Akamon 3D printer, looks cool. Can we see other, or can I spot other things in the meantime? Of course, if you're going to see prices, I think there will be prices for only the printer and a price for the combo and maybe some other variations because it is a Kickstarter. A little side note, I always need to highlight this. It is a Kickstarter campaign. If you cannot uh, miss the money, if you're short on money, don't spend money on something like this because you have the risk to lose your money. So yeah, the side panel with some, some lights, that would be amazing. Uh, auto height and tilt calibration. So does it do the tilting automatically? I'm looking here and I see lead screws. Do I see that correctly? Because in the video I saw stepper motors on the backside. I, I was like, okay, you know, that would be for the X and Y axis, the AB drives, but four lead screws for the bed? No shit, really? Support high performance filaments. Yeah, we saw it in the video peak. After this video and watching some of the uh, review videos from my friends on YouTube, check out also the video about Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd, trying to print Peak on the Bomb Labs H2D. It's something, it's not really recommended. You can try it, but if you really want to go engineering style, you need to print, have a printer with higher temperatures that are to spec from the manufacturer. So if you want to 3D print Peak, well, according to this, 365 till 440 degrees C. Reliable and flexible structure. Flexible structure? Which kind of material did you use for the frame then? Hmm. I mean, if I would guess, I would say like steel or aluminum or aluminium. Uh, five color printing. Yeah. One stop hub projects, tutorials and resources. Nice. Triple protection against micro particle threats. 
that is cool time lapse photography and selective part skipping Ooh. so i see here one of my friends videos uh 3d print sos also jonathan from next layer and of course jim the edge of tech cool so there are already some reviews online on youtube so uh, check them out after this video. The Super Early Bird Alkeman 3D Printer, one of the three Project FPV Drone Hi-Fi Speaker or Espresso Coffee Grinder, one time 150 gram of PLA filament and one branded sweatshirt. Really, for $6.99 USD. Just for a small reminder, this price of the Kickstarter campaign is exclusive the shipping cost or shipping fees. 699 USD. The normal standard shop price, the retail price would be 1,399 USD. I think that the price for the Kickstarter campaign is very cheap. If this machine was retail for 1,400 USD, don't forget if this 3D printer meets indeed the standards of printing also professional grade filaments, then I think 1,400 isn't that expensive. You still have a 3D printer that looks like the others, but then you have the gimmick that you can go up to 450 degrees Celsius, your bed temperature 130 degrees C and, and heat the chamber till 90 degrees. And especially if you're printing like peak, yeah, you need to have a heated chamber. You need to have a heated bed more than 110 degrees C and then also your hot end. 450 degrees C, I, I, think, I think you're getting close to, to print peak, but just like Joel said in his video, peak is expensive. Expensive. This is like $150 for a hundred, uh, no, what was it? 250 grams of filament. So it's expensive. Uh, the super early bird price, you have a discount of 42%, which is nice. You pay 949 USD, but then the retail price would be 1649. Then you get the printer, the five color unit, and one of the three projects, a 250 grams PLA filament, which is still sad, and a branded sweatshirt. So that are the, the tiers, the, the things you can get. So if the Kickstarter campaign is uh, ended, I don't know when this, this 3D printer is going to hit the, the normal standard market. What do I need to say about this 3D printer? As, as seen here, it looks promising. Uh, the retail price, let's focus on that. I think it's not too bad. It's on the lower end but then if you are really looking into a semi-professional or pro consumer based 3d printer do you want to print peak nylon nylon carbon fiber or pps on it this would be a great machine and nowadays with the bamboo labs h2d being even a thousand dollars more i think this this wouldn't be that bad i'll put the link in the description of the video if you are interested check them out